in today's video, the brutal wedgie which crippled Southern Europe. Hello and welcome to today's Daily Blitz. In today's video, we'll be going over an interesting chart that Nikolai, you sent me recently. Now, this is a chart that shows the GDP, the economic growth of the Eurozone and uh, Europe as a whole, really, because the UK is in there. But it shows a very interesting, quite stark wedge between certain countries, right? Yeah, so what we're pointing out is almost this triangular shaped wedge coming in from the right of that chart which shows that Southern Europe's GDP performance has diverged from the rest of Europe. There's this split where Central and Northern Europe is growing quite well, while Southern Europe is, no, shown in this chart by Italy and Greece, is basically not performing well. And this split over time is getting worse, not better. That's the key because it's the opposite of what's supposed to happen under the Euro. Right, so the wedge is growing bigger over time, in fact. And this is all a product of the currency itself, right? That's right. So when you have your own exchange rate, such as the UK in this chart, what happens is that exchange rate moves up and down to keep your economy balanced. It makes the booms and busts smaller, and thereby giving you more stability, you end up with more GDP growth. But if you give away your own exchange rate and share an exchange rate with other countries, then you don't have that stabilizing influence anymore, and that's what creates that divergence. Right. So over time, though, because the uh, because the because all of those countries are still locked into the euro and none of them so far have really gone all out in attempting to leave it, you expect that wedge to go even bigger over time, right? That's right. So first of all, you'd expect more instability. But second, you would expect that underperformance and overperformance, that divide to grow, because if you share monetary policy and you share the currency, which means exchange rate, then you can only expect things to get worse. So as the pain of the wedgie increases, you would imagine that Southern Europe would be much more likely to opt to leave the euro, right? That's right. So it's one of the reasons I expect the euro to fail ultimately is because of that divergence, things are only going to get worse. Right. So pay attention to Europe's wedgie as time goes on. Thank you very much for watching today's Daily Blitz and be sure to tune in tomorrow.